Hello, this is American Button Machines with a Corel Draw tutorial on how to create a 2.25 inch round button. You'll first need to go to our website and download our Corel template from www.americanbuttonmachines.com. When you open Corel, you're going to open the template file that you've previously downloaded and you're going to get an image that looks like this. This outer black circle is the cut line. Anything that's lying outside of this line will be cut off before the button is even produced. This next circle is the tagline text circle and this will contain anything from a phone number to a web address and will show up around the perimeter of your button. This next circle is the image area and anything inside of this area will be the main photo of your button. So you want to make sure all of the main content for your button lies inside this inner circle. Today we're going to make a football themed button and we're going to start by importing a photo from our desktop. So we're going to go to File, Import, and we're going to choose our photo here and go down to Import. It's going to give you a cursor that looks like this. It's going to have the file name you've chosen and instructions to click, drag, and resize. We want to make sure when we create our photo that it will be large enough to cover the entire area of our button. So let's click and drag. And you'll see that when you let go of the mouse button, it creates your photo for you. Now we want to place this photo inside the larger black circle. So we're going to make sure our photo is selected by clicking. Go up to Effects, Power Clip, and we're going to select Place Inside Container. You're going to see a cursor that looks like this, and we're going to go right inside this black circle and click. Now you see it has imported our photo into the circle. And when you're choosing a photo, you want to make sure that you choose something that has enough space around the edges so that you're not cutting off someone's head like this, or that a logo or another type of image doesn't get cut off when you produce your button. We're going to use this for now. And let's go ahead and edit our tagline text. As you can see, it's in black. It's a little hard to see right now, but we're going to change that. So we're going to go to our text tool here, select that, and we're going to go to the top one first. We're going to insert a phone number here. So you're just going to double click to select and insert whatever you'd like. We're going to use a phone number. And I'm going to highlight it again in order to change the color to white. And you want to just highlight and then come over to your color manager here and select whatever color you'd like. As you can see now, we can see our phone number clearly. And we're going to go down to the bottom and do, our, do the same thing. I'm going to select our text. And then we're going to insert a URL. Again, we're going to select our color. And now we've got our tagline text as well. Now I want to add one more thing. I want to do a team name. So we're going to select, make sure our text tool is selected. And you're going to hover over the photo and click once. And we're going to do the Vikings. Uh, again, this is black on black, so let's change the color, double click to highlight, and select whatever color you'd like. We're going to do white again. And then I want to make this text fit the shape of the circle around the bottom here. So I'm going to go highlight this again, up to our text menu, fit text to path, and you'll see that you get something that looks like this. It's going to allow me to place the text on any of the circles here in any direction I would like. We want it along the bottom, so we're going to just place our text at the bottom. And we want it to face right side up, and so we're going to use the mirror text options to flip our text to have it going the correct direction. Now click outside your button. And you'll see now that we have a completed button. 
Uh, we have our tagline text here with the phone number, tagline text at the bottom, and our team name and our main image. 